Jeff Van Dam, that solar guy. I'm um, just uh, about to button up this uh, DC disconnect. I thought it'd be a great opportunity to go through a, a tour of uh, what's going on here. So this is an integral DC disc disconnect from uh, SMA, and it uh, it's integral because it just kind of bolts right onto the bottom. It's not a separate unit that has to be mounted somewhere else in the wall and then conduit uh, mounted to it. So the way this works is uh, over on here on the left side is where our DC conductor is coming down from the roof land. Over on the right side is where the AC conductors uh, come out of the inverter and will go into our uh, service entrance or our AC disco or, or wherever our point of connection is. So again, over here on the left side is where the DC comes in from the roof. We have knockouts on the back. If we're coming from the other side of the wall, we can come from the side or the bottom. So the DC conductors come through here. There's four terminals four for our positive, or we call our ungrounded conductors, and four for our negatives, or what we often call our, our grounded conductors. Directly above, all four of these ports, all four of these positives rather, lead to these four pull-out fuses. And in here, we're not under load right now, so I can go ahead and pull out. You'll see we got these little fuses, and make sure these are the right size. I'll work with you. So don't worry about making sure they're the right size. I'll make sure these are the right size when they when they come in your system. So these four ports navigate through a circuit board to these four fuses and then they combine so this is not just a disconnect, it's actually a combiner and they combine and, um, through this switch and they go up as one conductor, one positive, into the inverter and one negative, one grounded conductor up into the inverter and then the inverter does its thing and then it puts, spits out AC side. The AC side comes over here and we have four ports uh, one for L1, our L2, our neutral, and our equipment grounding conductor. Um, just above these uh, four ports are two more ports. This is uh, for our equipment grounding conductor coming from the array. Uh, this is what our, is our bare 10 up on the roof that we transition to a, a 10 stranded. And then over here is our equipment grounding, I'm sorry, our grounding electrode conductor. I messed that up. This is our grounding electrode conductor. And this port comes down here and then goes out and then goes down to our grounding electrode which is usually your house eufer or a ground rod of some sort. Uh, what else do we got going on here? Um, last thing is right here. This is a fifth port. So we can actually land five strings. We can land four here and then a fifth one here. Uh, typically what this one is, this fifth port is ungrounded. I mean, I'm sorry. This fifth port is unfused. So what you would use this port often uh, with a larger gauge wire where perhaps you've uh, combined all your uh, positives, all your ungrounded conductors, maybe you, you uh, combine them at the array and you brought in just one positive or one negative, you'd land that one positive here. Again, if you go to here, there's no overcurrent production protection, so you need to ground, um, you need to fuse this somewhere, probably in a J box somewhere. So that's a little tour of the uh, DC disconnect. Give me a call if you got any questions. Thanks.